I've always done things for myself. I feel unuseful or lazy if I don't do things for him. I like cooking for him. I was told not to do this. Should I stop? No, I don't think it's a bad thing to cook for him and to do things for him. Relationships are give and take, right? It's not one person doing everything and the other person not doing anything. But you want to make sure that you don't get stuck in a situation where you're giving, 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 and you're the only person that's investing in giving and doing things in the relationship. And that's why Helena talks a lot about leaning back because what ends up happening is a lot of women, they feel the same way and they, you know, get, they're used to doing things for themselves and they're strong and independent and, you know, they get a lot into their masculine energy and so they're doing things all the time and they have goals and they're used to doing things and taking care of people and, you know, being the type of woman that does everything and then next thing you know, they're being taken for granted by some guy who's not investing in the relationship and so you have to make sure that you're not getting taken advantage of by your own accord and you need to make sure that you allow yourself to receive help from him and actually practice asking him for help and and making sure that you know you're not doing everything and, and allowing him to take on that masculine role in the relationship so that it's a it's an even, there's at least an even give and take going on